Hey guys, my name is Mo and today we're going to be talking about how to add special lighting effects to your photos in Photoshop. It's one of the uh, most asked questions that I've had before, uh, so I thought it's time maybe to kind of walk you guys through how I do it. Um, a big example that we can follow is Brandon Walfel and um, if you go to his page, of course, most likely you've heard about his work and he's done a fantastic job creating his own style through the years and uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I've learned a lot from him, uh, I've learned a lot from other photographers and uh, uh, guys I have to say there's nothing wrong uh, with copying some some of the you know techniques and styles of this photographer or the other one. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that uh, as long as you kind of create your own style with time and uh, add to whatever you learn. Uh, this is how life works, this is how babies learn to eat and hold the spoon and uh, uh, guys how to shave learning from their dads and uh, maybe a girl learn how to do makeup from her mom so there's absolutely nothing wrong uh, with learning how to do something uh, copying from another photographer but you make sure to create your own style so now today we're going to talk about how Brandon Waffle adds his light effects to his colors and, and, and uh, photos on Instagram. Now of course he did not add all his uh, lighting effects in post-processing, although sometimes it gets confusing that you can't tell wh uh, whether or not this was done in post or uh, it was done in real life, especially if it's uh, someone creative such as uh, Brandon Waffle, you can't really tell if he actually added this uh, lighting effect in, in, in post-processing or he actually did it in real life. Uh, but regardless of that, uh, we're gonna focus on how to create this kind of effect in Photoshop. For example, when you look at this photo here, uh, Brandon added these kind of cool light and I know for a fact that this was done in post because I've seen the before and after those couple they, they, um, they look really intimate, they look happy. At the same time, Brandon has added some really positive and, and powerful energy, adding these light effects surrounding them. In another photo here, you can see, uh, I'm not pretty sure if he actually did it. I think he did it himself here. These lights are uh, not done in post, but you can pretty much do the same effect uh, in post where for example this photo right here I'm pretty sure the model wasn't holding the universe in her hands so uh, it's also done the same way uh, so without further ado let's try to do the same effect I'm just gonna try to make it quick and easy uh, first of all you just need to go to your browser and type in speeding or speed light effect where all these uh, different colors and shapes of light is gonna show up some of them are copyrighted um, you will see the watermarks on it so you can't really use it uh, unless you're creative where you can delete it uh, or you can just go and buy some some of them are free to use uh, so download the ones that you like just make sure that it's not tiny so it doesn't have to be 1080p but at least um, big enough that it doesn't get distorted now after you've done that just create a folder with all the photos that you like to use um, and then pretty much start by dragging this uh, file that you chose for your photo into Photoshop and then change the blending mood to screen that's a very major step that you have to start with and start stretching your light effect around the way that you think it looks better in this time here or in this example here I tried to do something from the background uh, let's see if it looks good in here maybe not uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit on an angle just to kind of get a different kind of effect in the photo it's not working for me I can just turn it to the other side and see how it looks like each image has a different uh, effect in different lighting situations sometimes you have to follow the direction of the light and this situation here I feel like it looks way better in front of her instead of in the background just because there's more space so what I'm doing here is I'm just stretching it back and forth turning it around maybe changing the angle a little bit don't worry about the edges I know it looks terrible right now but we're gonna work on it after this once you feel like it looks good and you're happy with the position you click enter and that would be the position that you chose. Now you go to the erasing tool, click on it, and then click on the photo. This message is gonna pop up, click OK. Now you make sure that the opacity is around 100, but your flow is less. And you're gonna start deleting the edges and everything where 
the light is not really necessary and let's say here uh, at the bottom her body um, let's see here I don't want the um, I don't want it to be obvious that we deleted a part of it but also at the same time you don't want it to be um, very this distracting so I try to delete it here I don't think I want it to be covering the model's face so I'll delete this part right here I change the opacity again and um, go stronger around the face and I think this looks pretty good I'll just clean up by the hair area and make sure that nothing looks weird um, I think the bottom here still needs to be fixed so um, I'll change the opacity drag the um, the whole layer opacity to see how it looks like sometimes you need to kind of bring it down a little bit and um, I think it looks pretty cool so let's jump into the next image we'll drag a different lighting effect and uh, same steps we have to change the blending mood to screen so um, first of all this is how we're going to be able to see the image below uh, we'll start turning it around we'll start seeing what angle do I want it to be uh, in this image I feel like uh, I'm definitely going to change the colors uh, I just want to make it look like the lighting is probably surrounding the model and maybe coming from the front and then turning around behind her back um, I'll bring it down up until I'm satisfied with the location you guys can also stretch it back and forth like I said you can also use warping tool you can use free transformation so uh, you can actually you know go crazy and change the whole shape of it you can do that I've done it before I'm just trying to keep it easy and simple for now so after I'm happy with the position like right now I'll just click enter again I'm gonna go to the erasing tool click on the image click OK and start deleting the edges um, same thing play with the opacity now you guys this is um, uh, personal preference the way you like it the way you kind of get creative a lot of people ask me aren't you afraid of teaching your method um, people are gonna copy you um, I always say no because honestly no one's gonna be me I am Mo I have my own style and my own style is created by the vision that I have in my head it's not something that I can teach um, you're not, it's not you're not gonna learn uh, how to edit the photo exactly how I do it because I even I don't know how the photo is gonna look like after uh, it's done editing so totally not afraid of sharing my knowledge teaching people how to do it at the end you're never gonna edit the way I am editing right now and uh, again same thing I'm never gonna be editing the same way that you are now here what I'm doing is I'm changing the opacity just to keep uh, you know the color in the photo consistent what you have to do is click on control U or command U in the case of Apple and drag the colors until you see uh, the way that you like it this way is more kind of flattering um, to the original color of the image now to the third example I have a photo here of Stephanie I'm gonna choose a different light effect same thing drag it start stretching it after turning it uh, into screen blending mood and um, again I just like the way that um, the light effect looks like it's wrapping the model um, I like the way it looks this way I'm just gonna click OK and start deleting the parts that I don't want again we'll go to the erasing tool and then click on the image click OK and start erasing the parts that you don't want um, it's pretty much the same way if you want to do um, a flare light effect um, You only have to it's actually easier. You can just do it through Photoshop. You'll click on um, You'll add a gra gradient Map and I'm um, sorry gradient and then you'll choose the uh, colors that you want I may do another video that explains how to add lighting effect to your photos uh, That might be more of my style because I shoot during the day uh, more than doing these kind of effects, but I thought I'll start with this just because I've had a lot of people Asking me how I did it once I posted the photo. All right guys. That was it I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and um, I try my best to bring something new to your knowledge If you know this already, please sh share your thoughts If you have a better idea or a better way to do it by all means leave me a comment Please subscribe to my channel. Hopefully you'll see more and more videos coming in the future and until then I'll see you soon. Bye.